We recently learned about a modern-day crusader bringing awareness to human trafficking. Just who is this modern-day abolitionist? Let's find out. He is not your typical 20-year-old. After graduating high school with 10 varsity letters and two years of college credit, he headed to Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio, to major in engineering. Now in graduate school, he took the summer off to ride across the country on his bike to raise money and awareness about human trafficking. On June 23rd of this year, he left Dayton on his bike with his brother following along in the family's old van and headed to San Francisco on a 3,200-mile ride. What prompted your interest in fighting human trafficking? Well, I was riding my bike one day when I was younger, and I uh, realized that I felt so free, and then I realized later that not everyone is free. And what inspired you to ride across the country on your new bike? I really wanted to bring awareness to this issue and uh, also bring awareness to my new bike. Oh, it is a pretty cool bike. And so what did you learn while you were riding across the country? Uh, well, I learned that my brakes are a bit touchy when I'm riding and uh, that it's a pretty long trip down there and it gets uh, the temperature changes a bit. So I have to be conscious about that. Did you talk to people while you were riding on your bike? Yeah, I did. I uh, informed them about what was going on, and uh, I also informed them about my new bike. And so did you find that a lot of people knew about human trafficking? Uh, no, not many people knew about my bike, but I did let them know what was going on about human trafficking. Okay. So I understand you, you broke your arm while you were on this trip. Yeah, I did, but they uh, allowed me to bring my bike into the uh, emergency room, so it was all right. Okay. So, when did your obsession with bikes begin? What do you mean? And there you have it. I'm Marcia Chapman with WXYZ-TV with uh, Ian Kelly, this year's Ohio Liberator.